Today we have a quick lesson to cover sigma and subscript notation. Now the symbol sigma looks like a capital E from the English alphabet, but it's actually a capital S from the Greek alphabet, and it's used to note the sum of values. Now typically we would read this as the summation of xi from i is equal to 1 up until n, where xi are the actual values that we're summing up, i is our starting point, and n is our end point. Now, subscript xi is simply used to distinguish between individual values, where i is referring to the position or an index of a value. So, for example, if we had the following values, 65, 23, 67, all the way up until 1, we could distinguish or refer to specific values by using a subscript. For example, x3 is 67, x7 is 5, and x10 is 1. Now, if we wanted to sum up all these values, we would simply write the summation of xi from i is equal to 1 up until 10, because 10 is our last index. And this translates to x1 plus x2 all the way up until plus x10, which is simply 65 plus 23 plus 67 all the way up until plus 1, which is equal to 323. Moving on to some examples. These examples are simply to iterate important rules that you should remember when working with summation. The first example is to calculate the summation of xi squared from i is equal to 1 until 5. We would do this by squaring each individual value and then summing them together to get an answer of 18,320. The next example is to calculate the summation of xi from i is equal to 1 to 5 all squared. We would do this by summing the individual values and then squaring the result to get an answer of 77,284. And this shows us that the summation of a squared value is not equal to the square of a summation. Next, we're going to look at two sets of values. The first example is to calculate the summation of xi multiplied by yi from i equal to 1 to 4. We would do this by individually multiplying xi and yi and summing those results to get an answer of 5093. However, if we were told to calculate the summation of xi from i is equal to 1 to 4 multiplied by the summation of yi from i is equal to 1 to 4, we would do this by summing the individual values and multiplying to get an answer of 106,140. And this shows us that the summation of a product is not equal to the product of summations. That brings us to the end of the lesson. Kindly like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep learning.